Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan from Fighting For My Boys, My Life with Verbal Apraxia. And in today's video, we are going to be explaining what verbal apraxia is, otherwise known as childhood apraxia of speech for kids through the ages of three, four, five, six, or whatever age. What, whatever age you are, we welcome you. Hi, welcome. So, what is verbal apraxia? Childhood apraxia of speech. I'm going, I'm going to say it in very simple terms because people like to define it in these complex terms and we are not the Mayo Clinic. If you want the Mayo Clinic, you can go on, go and check them out. Over here, we're fighting for my voice. But what verbal apraxia is, is where a person knows what they want to say, but the word doesn't always come out. And when the word does come out, it may not sound like what they are intending to say. So this person, this kid, they know exactly what they want to say. But it just doesn't always come out. And frankly, this can be very frustrating for the kid. But the good part about it is, is that if you give them the time that they need to just speak, they are more than happy to talk with you. Because guess what, kids? Everybody's different. In some way, in some form, everybody's different. And what would be, I just got this idea. What would be a very cool idea after this video is that if your teacher went around the classroom and you all named one thing that that made you different from every other kid around that classroom. Because guess what? Being different isn't a bad thing at all. I think actually being different is kind of cool because like who wants to actually be normal? Because there's really no such thing, but like we try to hype this thing up about, oh, they're not normal. It's like, what is normal, dude? Ew. Anyways. So we got a grasp about what is verbal apraxia. We discussed that everybody's different. And it's my third thing is too, is that just because this kid or person has trouble speaking, doesn't mean that they do not want to talk to you. This kid wants to be included in everything and everything that y'all do in the classroom activities, on the playground, um, if you're playing with something cool that you like. I don't know what I liked doing at that age really now. I wish that I would have took naps when they actually offered naps in pre-K and kindergarten. I wish I would have taken those naps because now since I'm an adult, you need naps, take naps. Anyways, listen to your parents and take naps. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so basically include them in everything and they want to speak and they want to be your, be your friend. And I guarantee you that they're a cool, cool kid. Just like y'all. I bet everybody in your classroom is cool. Everybody's cool. Except people who are mean to other people. <sighs> gross. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Why not? And as always, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.